Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at how to make what's called a toggle script. And toggle script turns on and off a function and it's very handy for just making very basic scripting tools. And for this instance we'll show how to make a toggle script that controls the visibility of turbo smooth. So if I show this real barrel here, each of these parts has a turbo smooth modifier already applied to it. And what the script will do is turn off the visibility of it for me, or if it's already off, turn it back on. And it'll only do that to the selected objects that I have. And it's a quite handy tool. I use it a lot. And I hope you uh, will too. So let's get started here. We'll right click here uh, in this little pink area. Go open editor window and start with a nice clean script here. And we'll go ahead and get started writing the script. And again, we're going to use a for loop. And I showed the basics of this in that last video. So I hope you watch that. If not, I'll go over the basics again here and just add on to it. So it'll be a little more complex. So first we start with four jobs. And again, last time I was saying that this variable here can be named anything you want, but I'm calling it this just so it, it makes a little bit of sense. And this is representing selected object in selection do. And I'm opening the bracket and then immediately closing it just so I don't forget later on. Anytime you open one of these brackets, you have to make sure to close them, otherwise you'll get a scripting error. And what this is saying, for selected objects in the selection, so Max is already storing the number of the selected objects for us and remembering that, and then it's saying do. So anything inside of these brackets will happen. And then we'll go ahead and do an if, cell obj, which is this variable again, dot turbo smooth, dot enabled is equal to true then again open bracket closing the bracket so we're saying if a selected objects turbo smooth enabled is true meaning that it is visible then do this block of code that is in these brackets and that is this line here so obj so again that initial variable dot turbo smooth dot enabled equals false. So we're saying turn off that visibility. So always a good idea is to check your script to make sure that it's all working. So if I have this object selected here and I run the script, it should essentially look like this after I turn it off. So I want to make sure my turbo smooth is on and then I'll do tool evaluate and you can see here Perfect. It turned off the visibility of that, that turbo smooth, so it's off. So I'm just manually turning this back on so we can go ahead and add on to the script so that it will um, also turn on the turbo smooth for us automatically if it's already off. And that'll happen down here. So we have the first half done, and now we're going to go ahead and do the second half. And so first we're saying if this, this statement here is true, then do this. And then we're going to put what's called an else and then again open bracket close bracket so we're saying if this is true then do this block of code otherwise go into this block of code and do what's in here and this is a very handy and powerful um, tool to learn how to write so again we're going to do cell obj dot turbo smooth dot enabled is equal to true so what this is doing is it's going through all of our selected objects. It's seeing if the turbo smooth is applied, and if it's applied and visible, then it is turning it off. If it's applied and already not visible, then it's going down to this else statement and turning it back on for us. So what we have is, I'll go ahead and select multiple objects in the scene, and I'll run the tool. So the hotkey here is control E for evaluate all, and that's why I'm going to go ahead and hit a few times. So I'm just clicking my script, hitting control E, and you can see the visibility of that turbo smooth on all those selected objects just turned off. And then again, if I hit it again, it should turn them back on. So you see here, you can easily toggle on and off the visibility of that turbo smooth. And you can do that for any modifier or visibility of objects and just whatever you can think of with the script, but you'd have to just change the the syntax, but this is your basic setup for it. And then if I select the single object itself, the turbo smooth hasn't actually been deleted. It's still there, it's just toggling that visibility. 
so you can just always go back to it. Uh, this is a really handy thing to learn how to do, and I hope you uh, implement this in your own practices. Uh, if you actually do write the script, or if you use it in a different way, I'd love to see how you've how you've used it and how it's helped you. Uh, go ahead and please subscribe, like, comment, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.